Hi there. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a bit of an advanced um, application, uh, specifically a pipeline in Open Web UI uh, that shows a workflow that a user might go through when they're trying to do text to SQL. Um, in this case, we're going to use two separate pipelines. In a previous video, you may have seen me using Metalama 3.8b Instruct. This is a VLLM OpenAI compliant endpoint that I host. So uh, we can prompt and get a response saying hello. Um, and then we also have this pipeline that I've demonstrated before, the database RAG pipeline with display. And we've got a database with restaurant reviews from restaurants in India that we're going to be uh, chatting with here. How many reviews are in the data set? In this case, what happens in this uh, pipeline is I take a natural language input. Uh, I have a text to SQL prompt run with an LLM to generate a SQL query run that SQL query against the Postgres database. Uh, in this case, this query select star from reviews test, uh, this, select count star, and the answer to the query is 9,976, which is synthesized by an LLM to produce like a human readable response. Um, in this case, there's some more advanced things that I might want to be doing. So for example, uh, how many reviews mention stake? Um, you know, conceptually, as I run through this, let's imagine that I'm trying to write a blog post, sourcing some information from these reviews about the, um, the different restaurants that you might visit in India. And so in here, uh, we can see that selecting the count for distinct reviews where review is like, uh, stake, um, you, you can actually return that there's 23 distinct reviews, but how might I actually get those individual reviews? How do I get that out of there? This is where the second pipeline comes in. So from the dropdown, we've defined a second one called SQL Query on Restaurant Reviews Database, where I can actually grab this SQL query. Um, and then instead of taking the count, I'm just going to select all reviews and run this query. Now, this, this thing just runs and it spits out a bunch of text in here. You'll see that, you know, the raw text, um, there's a better restaurant called Ambience 55. There's one called Deli 9. There's one called Jonathan's Kitchen. They're all being reviewed here. So let's switch back, you know, to our um, Metalama 3.8B Instruct endpoint and show that effectively when you take this information out of the SQL query and you display it in on screen here, it's also being stored in roughly the context window of the model because of the back and forth that's happening in the chat here. So uh, write a blog post about some of the restaurants mentioned. So there we go, discovering the flavors of Hyderabad. And, you know, I scrolled through that output. We saw reference to Delhi 9. We saw reference to Jonathan's Kitchen, to Glass Onion to clat conclusion. I mean, this is a, an example that, um, you can, you can kind of see referenced with, uh, glass onion. There's a reference to their black and salmon steak. Um, <laughs> I think it's referencing three different cottage cheese steak sizzlers. Uh, we can go through here and, uh, I guess at, in one of these, there's a reference to like to the cottage cheese steak. Uh, cottage cheese steak sizzler is referenced in here and again down here. So, um, yeah, it, I mean, it, it's clearly taking uh, relevant uh, information from the context window. It's helping develop this blog post. Um, in a future video, I'll go through details about how this uh, pipeline is actually implemented. For now, we can just jump over here and see the the python file that's uploaded um, like any other pipeline in open web ui you define the class pipeline you define valves you set an init function in this case i'm passing in like my postgres uh you know the host name the port the username password uh the individual database and the table that i'm going to be interacting with and then if i go down here it's it's really simple uh, you just use psycho pg to connect to the database uh, you want to connect to and then you um, execute the SQL command, which is actually the, the user message that's being handled in this um, definition of a function called pipe within the 
uh, upper class of pipeline. So conceptually, I mean, you can execute arbitrary Python code from the SABE web interface in here and, you know, do all sorts of things, query other databases, um, you know, potentially uh, start building retrieval augmented generation pipelines. Um, this is a simple way to, to start experimenting with, you know, open web UI and how you might, might interact with your um, confidential data, or at least like the data and the LLM you have control over. Because keep in mind, everything I've just run in this demo is running on a single, um, a single server with just two A180 gig GPUs. And I'm, uh, I'm only running the model on one of the GPUs right now. So really lightweight to get started and really powerful when you think about all the sorts of different data that you might be able to ingest and connect to for this demonstration. So thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit about uh, some of the advanced text to SQL um, prompting that you might do through an open web UI pipeline.